Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The elders of Israel being the apostles, and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom, Mahabla, Bachir, Shah, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with a lesson by Harakha Kharash Shah Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of this ministry is our mercy. Okay, so we can't bullshit when it comes to this ministry. Okay, we can't half-ass when it comes to this work of ours. The, the, in the book of Hebrews, it says labor to enter into that rest. Labor what? Labor in this ministry. Labor in this work, right? Work. Oh, it said work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, and this ministry is a big part of that, doing what is asked of us. The Lord said to Peter three times, if you love me, feed my lambs, feed my flock, all right, feed my sheep. So that's one of the ways, that's one of the main ways we show our love for Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's how we show our faith as well. Scripture say, I believe, therefore have I spoken, right? I believe, therefore have I spoken and was greatly afflicted. That's in the book of um, Psalms. It's in the book of uh, Psalms 119. Okay, so if we truly believe, we need to confess our beliefs. All right, which leads me to our, um, which leads me to my first precept. This is Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. All right, confessing our beliefs, okay? Building upon our faith, proclaiming it, right? Confession is made unto salvation. Let's look up that word confession. Give me one second. Let me hop on the blue letter. Romans 10 and verse 10. Going into that word confession, it's the Greek word homologeo. Homologeo. Strong's G thirty six seventy. Homologeo. 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 To agree with, not to refuse, not to deny, declare. Okay, to confess, to admit or declare, and that one's going off, I'm not going to continue on that, to profess, to declare openly, openly speak out freely, and that's what we're able to do, okay, we're not tied to any contracts, all right, that says we uh, uh, can't speak on certain topics, like Kanye, like uh, uh, Kyrie Irving. We're in a position where we can declare openly our beliefs. Where we can speak out freely on what we have faith in. Okay? So I'd rather be in the position that I'm in right now. Right? I'm on break right now. <laughs> Working a job. Okay? Than to be in Kanye West's position. Than to be Kyrie Irving, okay, or Floyd Mayweather, because everything that they have is going to perish. All right, they're just high-paid slaves. They can't do what I do through the Spirit and power. Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. They can't go out there on the highways and byways and declare openly their beliefs and speak out freely what they have faith in. This nigga just posted a, a book on his Twitter, and he's catching all type of smoke. Speaking about Kyrie Irving. So we're in a blessed position to have this ministry, to have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It says in the book of Isaiah, um, wisdom and uh, knowledge and wisdom. Let me just read it. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse... 
uh, 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So this wisdom and this knowledge that's been gifted onto us, this is a gift, right? That's been gifted onto us is what's going to keep us stable in these last days and these times that we're coming into. In these very rough times that we're coming into. The whole world is going to go insane. Okay? The whole world is going to go crazy. But the knowledge and wisdom that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai has given us is what's going to keep us stable. It's what's going to keep us clear-headed. I want to make another point in this chapter. I'm going to jump down to Isaiah 33 and verse 14. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell? Yeah, fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Okay, and uh, you can't, you, we can't be teaching one thing, but doing the opposite. We have to be examples. Okay, we have to be examples. And that's, that's going into another video that I, um, that the spirit gave me earlier. All right, I'm not even going to say the title. Lord, well, I'm going to do it tomorrow. All right, but anyways, we have to practice what we preach. OK, it says who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walk. So who's going to be saved? Who's going to be delivered from the missiles? Oh, that, that's um, Judges, the fifth chapter. Those that shall be delivered from the noise of the arches shall the noise of the archers, meaning the missiles. Shall rehearse the righteous acts in the uh, place of drawing water in the land of our captivity. OK, those are the ones that's going to be delivered from devouring fire, delivered from everlasting burnings. Right. Verse 15 is going to further explain because he's asking a question. Let's let's read 14 again. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire. Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? For verse 15, here's the answer. He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. Right? That's speaking the truth. That's participating in this holy, glorious ministry. All right? But not only speaking it, it said, he that walketh righteously. So we got to... So we got to uh, walk what we talk because any anybody can talk the talk, man. Anybody can talk the talk. OK, but can you walk the walk? Can you back it up? Are you living this? It says he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly. He that so our words should match our actions. Our actions should match our words. However you want to put it right in the book of. First John, it says, um, let us not love in word, but in deed and in truth. So it's not just about going to the camp and it's not just about doing the videos. Even though you're teaching the correct doctrine, are you living? Are you living according to that? Uh, 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 what you're preaching? Right. Are you applying the precepts you're bringing out in your videos? Right. He that despises the gain of oppressions that shaketh his hands from the holding of bribes that stoppeth his ear, his ears from hearing of blood and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be the munition of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure he's going to be taken care of a man that's walking righteously and a man that's speaking uprightly. OK. He is going to be taken care of in these last days. And ultimately, he's going to be delivered from the fire and brimstone that's going to rain upon America. That's going to shake the whole entire earth. All right. So let's go from there. That was it on that Romans that we was reading. Let's go from there to a scripture in James. This is the book of James chapter 1 and verse 21. It says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Cut, cut, certain things have to be cut off. Okay? Superfluity is what? Is excess. Things that's not needed. Okay? When you go into that word in the Greek, it's pretty much remnants of the old man. Let's do so. This is James 
1 and 21. Getting that word superfluity. Per Isaiah, per Isaiah. Strong's G, 4050. Per Isaiah. Per Isaiah. Per Isaiah, right? Abundance. Um, uh, residue remains. The wickedness remaining over in a Christian from his state prior to conversion. So let us lay aside all superfluity. Let us lay, let us cut off, let's completely kill that old man. Okay? Let us continue to cleanse the remnants of that old man we used to be. Okay? Going back into it, it says, uh, James 1 and 21, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. The engrafted word, let's go into that word, word in the Greek, right? Able to save your souls. James 1 and 21, going into that word, word in the Greek is the Greek word logos. It says, a word uttered by a living voice embodies a conception or idea. I'm going to get straight to the point. Uh, the sayings of the Most High, Yahweh, of the moral precepts given by Yahweh, Old Testament prophecy given by the prophets. So it's all going into the scriptures, right? Doctrine, teaching, okay? Doctrine, teaching. Then grafted doctrine, then grafted teachings, able to save your soul. And there's men on this earth that have that particular doctrine. Those are the same men that walked and believed in Yahweh Shai Mashiach when he was on this earth 2,000 years ago. Back on the earth in these last days, pushing that same doctrine, them same teachings, then grafted word able to save your soul. What if that woman with the spirits of divination upon her, what does she say about Paul? And I believe Silas was with him. She said, these are the servants of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, that show us the way of salvation. The way of, uh, the way of salvation has been given on to us. We cannot neglect that. Again, like I said in the beginning, we cannot neglect that. We cannot bullshit with that. We cannot half-ass with that. Because it will be taken away from you, from anybody. Anyone that's bullshitting with this heavenly gift, it will be taken away from you. I am not exempt from that. Which means what? I cannot bullshit. I don't want to be a castaway like Paul said. Okay? Verse 20, let me read the next verse. Verse 22, be, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So yes, we have the engrafted word, the correct doctrine, the correct teachings, but we have to live by them. We have to apply them, okay? Otherwise, you're just deceiving your own self, okay? Okay? It says, that's it on that. I keep using that word neglect. So let's get that in Timothy. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. And this has to be on the forefront of our mind daily. This is, this is our daily uh, checklist. This is our daily spiritual checklist. Every single day, we have a duty to participate in this ministry. Okay? We call ourselves priests. We call ourselves prophets. Prophets wasn't their own. Prophets couldn't just do whatever the fuck they wanted to do. Prime example is Jonah. Lord told Jonah to go to Nineveh. He didn't want to go. He got thrown off the boat, uh, 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 swallowed up by a big ass fish. In the belly of that beast, right, for three days and three nights, and then he had to take his ass to Nineveh. We are not our own, bought with a price. 
That price being the pre the precious blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. He died and was resurrected. He sacrificed himself so that we can have this ministry, so that we can have this word, so that we can have the Holy Spirit. And you're going to have fast with that? And you're going to put that on the back burner for your own lust and pleasures? It ought not to be so. Till I come give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. I want to see what that word gift means. Neglect not the gift. 1 Timothy 4. That word gift, charisma, charisma, a favor with which one receives without any merit of his own. The, the Lord just just gave us this treasure, not based on anything that we did. OK, and because he's given it to us, it comes with requirements. The Lord said, you have not chosen me. I have chosen you and I have ordained you to bring forth fruit. The gift of divine grace, the gift of faith, knowledge, holiness, virtue, the economy of divine grace by which the pardon of sin and eternal salvation is appointed to sinners in consideration of the merits of Mashiach lay hold, uh, lay hold of by faith. So because of what Yahweh Shai did, our sins, our pardon and Everlasting life is granted unto us, and it starts with this word. Right? Wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Therefore, ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Okay? It says, um, that's it on that. I'll stop on the reception of which is due to the power of my God. Yeah, that's it on that. Oh, let me read the Strong's definition. Gratitude, gratitude, deliverance from danger or passion. Right? A spiritual endowment. What we have is straight from the heavens. Okay? What we have is straight from the heavens. Going back into it, 1 Timothy 4 and 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Right. When we got this, we got this gift from the heavens, from Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, through the men that he has set up. OK, the apostles, that's the presbytery, the elders. OK, of Great Millstone. It says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. We got to give ourselves 100% to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. He requires it of us. Deuteronomy 11. That thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself. Examine. And unto the doctrine. Study. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Right. Continuing, continuing in this doctrine. Right. Continuing in uh, not only pushing this doctrine and growing in the knowledge of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, but applying what we are learning. Continue in them for in doing this, we shall be saved in doing this. We shall be delivered. OK. It says. I'm going to go from there. This is the book of. Uh, I'll start at verse. Uh, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 5. Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is Yahweh. Who have given us, have given unto us the earnest of the spirit, the earnest of the spirit. Let me, let me read this other one. First, it's like your second Corinthians chapter one 
and verse 21. Now we, now he which establishes us with you in Mashiach and hath anointed us is Yahweh, who hath also sealed us and given us the earnest. Of, so the ones that's predestined from the beginning to be saved, the ones that's been sealed, created for salvation. Right. Who have also sealed us and given the earnest of the spirit in our hearts. Have given the earnest of the spirit in our heart. So let's get that word earnest. This is uh, going into that word earnest. Second Corinthians chapter one and verse 22. Uh, Arabon, Arabon. It says uh, in earnest money which in purchases is given as a pledge or down payment. So this word is a down payment, right? That the full amount will subsequently be paid. So the Lord has given us the spirit, right? He has given us this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding this ministry as a down payment. Showing that there's more to come. More blessings to come. Salvation and a glorious kingdom. Mercy, great mercy, has already been extended on to us. In the form of this word. In the form of this wisdom. In the form of this ministry. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Can't faint, man. Now we're going to get weak. We're going to slip a little bit here. We're going to slip a little bit there. But a just man, when he falls, he riseth up again. And when he riseth up again, he's stronger than ever. And he know I'm not going to slip that same way. Okay? So we need to analyze ourselves. We need to examine ourselves. Make the adjustments. And continue to move forward in the ministry. Continue to move forward in this walk of ours. Right? It says, that's it on that. I, I'll read another one. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You go into that word lost, it means perishing. Not everybody's supposed to get it, man. It's not revealed to everybody. Blessed are your eyes for they see. Blessed are your ears for they hear. Okay? It's not given unto them to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Okay? So let's get another one. <clears throat> and now I'm going to uh, wrap it up on this. I got to I gotta go back to work. This is... um. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Paul wrote it. Or maybe it was James. Um, so walk in here. Hmm. This is first John, is John. First John chapter two and six, he that saith he abideth in him. Ought himself also to walk even as he walked. That's first John. First John 2 and 6. I want to get that word, right? We ought to walk. If we abide in him, we have to walk as he walked, right? That word walk is perpeteo, perpeteo. To walk, to make one's way progress. We got to progress in this, right? To, to make due use of opportunities, Mercy has been shown on to us in the form of this word. He's giving us an opportunity to to uh, to a glorious kingdom, which all, uh, ultimately it goes back to being predestined and being saved or, or uh, and being um, sealed. OK, from the beginning. OK, but the ones that was predestined, the ones that was sealed from the beginning, they have this ministry and they're going to be living according to this word. All right. I wanted to get another preset. Like I said, I'm running out of time. I'm really supposed to go in right now. 
going back into that uh, Corinthians I just read, that Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, it says, um, seeing that we have this ministry, as we have re as we have received mercy, therefore we faint not. That's why we ought to be addicted with this ministry, right? It says the house of Stephanus addicted addicted themselves, the first fruits of Achaia, the house of Stephanus addicted themselves to the ministry of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Why? Because this is our mercy. And when you go into that name Stephanus, it's a, a Greek word which means to be crowned. The crowned, the ones that's going to be crowned. Okay, that's that's the other lesson I got. It pretty much ties these these. The lesson I'm doing now and the lesson Lord's will I'll probably do later tomorrow. Uh, they go hand in hand. Okay, I, I'll say the, the the title get down for your crown. Okay, but anyways, that Corinthians it says the house of Stephanus. Right. The house of the crown was addicted to the ministry. OK, this is our mercy. This is our salvation. This is how we're going to be saved. We got to be serious about it. Right. It says Hebrew for to live. Right. So that word walk, it means to live. We ought to live as he lived. All right. So Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Ba'asham. Yahweh Shai. Ba'asham. Rechach. Kodash. Yahweh is the true, holy powerful mighty name of the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai is the true holy powerful mighty name of his only begotten son our lord and our savior is the holy spirit that speaks through us that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly to the elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well which is peace and love to the elect of Israel brothers keep on pushing stay sober stay diligent stay faithful stay prayed up Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is near to believe. Shalom.